Okay, questions for Jacqueline Marshall. Juan, we asked Cervante, you know, what was the difference between the first half and the second half? Seeing the first half, they couldn't stop you. And then, did they make adjustments, or what did you see? Um, they pretty much ran the same thing the whole game. Just couldn't execute. I made some bad plays. Made some, threw some bad balls that probably could have helped us out, but, I mean, we start, we'd get behind the chains or something, or it'd be like second and nine. Couldn't really do much after that. And they were, but they ran the same thing the second half. I imagine it's frustrating the way you guys played in the first half offensively and how you were rolling, and then just couldn't match them shot for shot to help out your defense. Yeah, it's very frustrating. Um, we started the way we've been talking about wanting to start all season. I mean, get the ball first, went down, scored. So, I mean, that, that's really what you want to do in the first half. We just came out in the second half, and I mean, we didn't match it. We didn't play well in the second half. When the opponent scores right before the half, like on the last drive, that type of thing, how does that affect the team going into the locker room? Um, it can affect the team, but at the same time, you know, coming out in the second half, you make halftime adjustments. So you really just come out with the same confidence and, and focus you had in the first half, just knowing that, hey, we got to go out here and make, make a play and make something happen. Mm -hmm. the, the first two drives, I think, of the second half, you went three and out both times. Did anything stick out to you about the way, I mean, you weren't able to, to run the ball, get set up third and short in the way you wanted to. What, do you remember kind of what, what, what you saw or what was happening? Um, on the pool plays, they made me get inside where all the traffic was coming from. I noticed that a lot. I really couldn't get outside on the edge and try to, to pitch the ball to the A-back. They had the A-back covered up a couple of times. So. It seemed like the first half was the first time all year, maybe since the first game, where you've had an opportunity to get the A-backs on the pitch and had kind of some clean running lanes for yourself and for them on the edge. Was that what you were saying? Yeah, that, um, that's what that's what we practiced. I mean, it was the same way of practice. I mean, it was, it was exciting getting to the A-backs because, you know, I always tell them, like, hey, I'm trying to get y'all the ball. And they suck sometimes when they, they take the pitch away and I got to uh, tuck it up in. But, I mean, it was good getting them into the game today. And you got the pass to Quay for the touchdown that, that is kind of the one that you've been wanting to hit that mm -hmm. you haven't been able to quite connect on the last couple of games. Yeah, it still floated up in the air more than I wanted to. But, I mean, Quay made a play and we got things going early. That's a tough throw, though. You're on the move across your body. That's kind of an NFL-level throw to put it on the money. Yeah, I mean, we practice it and practice it. They open up the same way. When when you say they couldn't let you get outside, what, what like what were they doing exactly? Can you explain that a little? Um, the ends were getting up the field, so they were boxing me, making me go up under. A couple more for Twan. Obviously, you now need to beat Georgia. To, to get, you know, secure ball. Just what are your thoughts about, about I guess, playing to the ball, so needing to get a win for a... Oh, it's going to be exciting. It's they rival. I mean, you can't really ask for much more. The energy is going to be there, playing back at home. Still got a goal there, going undefeated at home. Everybody's going to be ready to play. I mean, it's Georgia. I guess the one positive is, like you said, you've been successful at home this year, so that's something to, to ride on going into the game. Oh, yeah, Bobby Dodd's going to be rocking. I already know it is. I mean... The fans are going to get into the game. All the players are going to be into the game. Uh, it's it's going to be a good game. I mean, I'm excited about it. I know a lot of people that play there, a lot of people from back home, Georgia fans. So it's going to be really exciting. Anything else? How hard is it to to have the, the struggles on the road this year? I mean, it seems like you guys have lost some pretty inconceivable ways on the road. Uh, it's frustrating. I mean, you want to come and win on the road. That was one of our goals. Like, hey, we need to know, come, went on the road, but I mean, it, it's frustrating knowing that you do all you can do, but the results still aren't what you want them to be, but at the same time, we're, we're looking to get number six right now, so we're going to watch this one and put it behind us and get ready for EGA.